The answer is one slash SQRT two. Calculate five hundred multiplied seven ninety four. The answer is three hundred and ninety seven thousand. Calculate forty five divided by thirty seven point five. Where is New York? User has to locate New York. Jarvis, tell me some news. Here are some top headlines from the entertainment industry. Stacy Dash's husband claims he was hypnotized into marrying her, TMZ. Guess who this grinning guy turned into? TMZ. Kelly Preston passed away at her family's Clearwater, Florida home in tragic death at 57, Daily Mail. Apple revamps music radio service with a rebranded Beats 1, and two new stations, Yahoo Finance. BTS, Jimin has been super active on Twitter and fans are loving it, showbiz cheat sheet. Welcome to Mac Academy. I am Mac. In the last section, you learned how to make Jarvis run apps, take notes, quitting Jarvis and playing songs. This is section 4 of this course on how to convert your computer into Jarvis AI. So if you have not already watched the previous section of this course, then go and check those out before watching this section for complete understanding. In today's video, you will learn how to implement more functions in Jarvis, which is an inspiration from Iron Man from MCU movies. These functions will include doing calculations, defining terms, the famous Google Assistant remember me function, locating different places, making a news reporter function, and giving power control to Jarvis. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. But before we start the video, there is just a small request that if you are new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button and comment down which superhero movie you like the most. So that it keeps me motivated to bring more amazing content for you. Let's start the video. I will create a function to do calculations for me. This will be using Wolfram Alpha API. So first of all, I have to install a library named Wolfram Alpha. Installation has finished. Now I will import it in my code and add a little comment here too. Now I will create a variable here named Wolfram Alpha app ID so that I can call it later in my code and now I will make it equal to Wolfram Alpha API which I can get by going to this website right here link is given in the description for this I have to sign up I will click here get API access it is free for developers so you don't have to worry about pricing now I will create an if statement here if user says calculate. I will create a new variable client and take it equal to prebuild function client from Wolfram Alpha library with Wolfram Alpha API as input which we defined earlier. Now in a new variable index, I will split the index from query after changing it to lowercase using this line query.lower.split.index calculate. Now I will change the value of query variable by calling split function with query variable and index plus 1 
as input in split function. Now to store results, I will define new variable res and take it as client.query and as input I will pass join query. Now I will create a new variable here answer and take it equal to next ans and pass results function with res variable with text. Now for the final step I will call print function to print down answer with string the answer is. Same goes with the speak function. Now just a few things that I missed before. Dot goes here and all is done. Now let's give it a try. Welcome back Matt. The current time is 1 hour 47 minutes and 17 seconds. The current date is 8, 8, 2020. Good afternoon, sir. Calculate sign for the The answer is 1 slash SQRT, 2. Now, I will modify the Wolfram Alpha function and use this Wolfram Alpha API to next extent than doing just calculations. I will try to see if it can answer questions or not. So let's see it through. I don't need to install anything new now. I will just create an if statement here if user asks what or who questions. This will use the same API key that we generated earlier. Now I will create a new variable client and take it equal to client function from Wolfram Alpha with app ID as input just like we did in the calculate function. Now I will create a rest variable and pass query as input in query function with client. I will ask it to try printing and speaking the answers so I will write both speak and print function with next function and calling res.results as input with text. This is the same line from calculate function. Now for the other way around if it does not go well or it stops iteration or it does not find any results. For this I will pass an accept statement accept stop iteration and then print now results. If I run it now we will see if it works or not. Welcome back Mac. The current time is 11 hours 35 minutes and 11 seconds. The current date is 19 8 2020. Good morning sir. What is hacking? One noun one who works hard at boring tasks. 
to noun a politician who belongs to a small clique that controls a political party for private rather than public ends. 3. Noun a mediocre and disdained writer. 4. Noun a tool, as a hoe or pick or mattock, used for breaking up the surface of the soil. 5. Noun a car driven by a person whose job is to take passengers where they want to go in exchange for money. 6. Noun an old or overworked horse. 7. Noun a horse kept for hire. 8. Noun a saddle horse used for transportation rather than sport etc. 16. Meanings What is artificial intelligence? Now the demonstration of intelligence and creativity by computers, the branch of computer science that studies, develops and assesses this phenomenon. If you have ever used Google Assistant, then you will definitely remember the remember me function where you could ask the Google Assistant to remember things for you. Now I will create the exact same function for Jarvis. It consists of two parts, asking the Jarvis to remember things and the other one is to ask if he remembers anything. First, I will create a function to ask Jarvis to remember something. Thus, I will create an if statement here. If user says remember that in query. Then I will prompt Jarvis to ask user for what to remember. And then take the answer which user provides and store it in a variable memory. Then it will speak the string user asked to remember with another string you asked to remember that. Now is the time to ask Jarvis to save it on a hard drive from memory variable. For this I will create a new variable remember and take it as equal to calling open function with file path where I want to store. I will be using file memory.txt and I will create it in my working directory in which I am running this program with write as permission. Then I will pass write function with the remember variable and memory variable as input. Now I will write remember dot close to exit from this function and close file memory. Now for the second part which is to ask Jarvis what he remembers. For this I will again create another if statement with string do you remember anything. Then it will again call a new variable remember and take it equal as open function with file path where Jarvis has stored its thoughts which is in my case memory.txt and permission will be read only. Now it will speak you asked me to remember that before speaking the lines from the memory file. Now I will run it to see if it was the worth the effort or not. Welcome back Mac. The current time is 12 hours 53 minutes and 28 seconds. The current date is 19 8 2020. Good afternoon, sir. Jarvis, remember that. What should I remember? This is Mac Academy.
You ask me to remember that this is my academy. Jarvis, do you remember anything? You ask me to remember that this is my academy. Now, I will create a new function to locate different places for me. For this, I will create an if statement with where is as string. Now, as the query for this will be like where is some city or country or monument. So, to help Jarvis in identifying the name of place from the query. I will remove the where is string from the query by replacing it with a blank. Now I will store the new value of query in a new variable called location. Now for the confirmation of user, it will speak location with string user ask to locate. Now I will use open new tab function from web browser library and pass the search link of Google map as input which goes here with addition to location variable. Now all is done here, I will just save it and run it. Welcome back Mac. The current time is 1 hour 5 minutes and 32 seconds. The current date is 19 8 2020. Good afternoon sir. Where is New York? User asked to locate New York. A good assistant is one which not only do things for you but also keeps you up to date with world headlines and what's happening around the world. So to create a news function, I will import three new libraries in my code which are JSON, second one is requests and the last one is URL open from URL lib dot request now we are done with the import thing now is the time to create an if statement for which I will just use news as string now I will ask Jarvis to try to grab news for which I will create a new variable here name json object and call url open function here.
For input here, I will need API key with link to news, which I can get by going to this website newsapi.org. You have to sign up for it. It is totally free. I am already logged in. Here you can see different topics from which you can grab headlines. You can also make changes to it. For this tutorial, I will be using business headline. I will copy it and paste it in my code in JSON object variable. But if you don't want to hear business headlines, then you can change business from here to anything else like entertainment. Now I will create a new variable named data and call load function from JSON library and pass JSON object variable as input here. Now for this function we need a for loop. The reason will be explained later. For this I will define value of i here as 1. It will speak here are some top headlines from entertainment industry. To give it more like a newspaper feel I will give it a style of newspaper headlines like this. Now I will create a for loop. If you are familiar with for loop concept, then you might remember that it requires some kind of iteration. I will be using the i we defined earlier. So I will type for item in data and articles as input here. Print string i. Here i must specify string so that it print not value of i which is int but string value which is attached to it. With it I will print a dot and then item titles before moving to the next line. Where it will print the description of these titles then it will speak only the title of items. Now to keep the loop working until all the item in the data variable have been passed to the print and speak function above. For this I have to write a line here which increases the value of i by 1. So then it continues to iterate. Next I will write an exception if everything does not work as intended except exception as e and then print string e. I will save it and run it to give it a try. Welcome back Mac. The current time is 3 hours 12 minutes and 9 seconds. The current date is 19 8 2020. Good afternoon sir. Jarvis, tell me some news. Here are some top headlines from the entertainment industry. Stacy Dash's husband claims he was hypnotized into marrying her. TMZ. Guess who this grinning guy turned into? TMZ. Kelly Preston passed away at her family's Clearwater, Florida home in tragic death at 57, Daily Mail. Apple revamps music radio service with a rebranded Beats 1, and two new stations, Yahoo Finance. BTS, Jimin has been super active on Twitter and fans are loving it, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Cardi B reacts to boat party of Donald Trump supporters blasting her smash hit WAP, Daily Mail. John Legend performs rousing never break at Democratic National Convention, Billboard. How America's Got Talents Kenan Thompson and Kelly Clarkson prove the judging needs to change, Cinema Blend. Chrissy Teigen's thoughts on selling Sunset have us doubting a major plot point, 
E. News. Britney Spears strongly opposed to father resuming conservatorship, Rolling Stone. Welcome to Sweetie Pie star Tim Norman charged in murder for hire plot, the rap. Kris Jenner sells Hidden Hills home opposite daughter Kim Kardashian's mansion for $15 million cash. Daily Mail. Angelina Jolie says she's enjoying the chaos of a full house during the coronavirus quarantine, Fox News. Federal authorities trying to seize $1.5 million home of former WWE superstar Ted DiBiase Jr., Wrestling Inc. Sanjay Dutt's wife Mana Yata shares update after his cancer diagnosis, Sanju will complete preliminary, Hindustan Times. NME Asia, British music brand launches in Asia, BBC News. The new Bachelorette promo has fans asking for Tayshia Adams after the Claire Crawley switch, showbiz cheat sheet. Cuba Gooding Jr. accused of rape in new civil lawsuit, Rolling Stone. Netflix testing a shuffle button that plays random TV shows and movies, TV line. Ozuna, J Balvin, and Anu LAA sell out Baja Beach Fest 2021 in Rosarito, Mexico, Billboard. We have already defined a function in the code to quit Jarvis. But if I quit Jarvis, I have to run it again if I want to use it again. But what if I only want it to stop listening or go to sleep for some time? For this, I will create a new function here to stop listening to my commands. If I ask him to do so, for this, I will import a time library in my code. Now I will write an if statement with string stop listening. Then I will make Jarvis ask for how many segments he must not listen. I will define a new variable ask here. And in it, I will define the data type of take command function, which will be int, so that it only takes in an integer value. Now I will call sleep function with time library and pass the time stored in ask variable as input here. Now it must print value of ask variable again when time of sleep has ended. Now I will give it a try to see if it goes to sleep or not. Welcome back Mac. The current time is 3 hours 22 minutes and 45 seconds. The current date is 19 8 2020. Good afternoon sir. Jarvis, stop listening. For how many seconds you want me to stop listening to your commands? 10 Till now, I have created different functions for Jarvis like searching Google, stop listening, going offline, playing songs, and many more. Now is the time to make such a function which gives the control of system power to Jarvis so that Jarvis can control the OS properly. To create a call function, I will use three if else statement one for each of the three main functions which are logout restart and shutdown first for logout i will create an if statement if user says logout then for jarvis to log out the system 
I will add input shutdown with dash l in system function from OS library. Now for restart, I will use other if statement with respective string which is restart if user says restart in the query. And this time in system function input will be shutdown slash r slash t1. The last thing is shutdown statement. After creating the if statement, I will pass shutdown slash l slash t1 as input in os dot system. Now I will not try it because I have some unsaved files on my system and I don't want to lose them. But it works, you can try it yourself. That's all from this video and the course part on how to add new features to Jarvis AI. In future, if I find any new features to add to Jarvis AI, then I will make a separate video for all those features and upload it to my channel Mac Academy. But in the next video of this course, we will convert Jarvis AI Python file to executable file you might also know it as exe file so that you can send it to your friends without giving away the source code which is our little secret i hope you learned something valuable from this video if you do then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it keeps me motivated to bring more amazing content for you and do comment if you have any suggestions related to the topic on which I should make a course next and if you have any questions related to this course do ask away in the comments. Till next time, happy learning.